what is going on everybody we're gonna play some more goobies and i wanted to revisit the all goo run uh should we throw anything extra on this one no you know what i think we'll just do double speed double enemies double mini bosses uh we're gonna take wiggle woogle just so we get as many goos as possible uh just like we did previously with the sonic howl we're going to add in a on death effect uh i don't know which one yet you know what i think the game just decided for us it's explosive blobs because it's been offered to us also we're going to try to implement our new policy of see a mumza take a mumza you know that's really bad to start off there this should have been our like soul essence run that would have been great would add like double Zigrid and an Amom right now. Seems pretty good. Instead, we're just dissolving left, right, and center. Uh, we'll take our damage. Because damage seems pretty good. We'll take our crit. But yeah, we're going to need some goo real soon. The game does not want us to have goo. You know, this would have been like just an amazing <laughs> um, essence Zigrid Amam Mumza run. But of course, you know, that's not the way it's going to work for us. We want the goo. You know, we've been neglecting the, the goo as of late. Uh, see a Mumza, take a Mumza. And I feel bad for all this goo neglect because goo is the most iconic skill in the entire game. You know, as much as we love and joke about Mumza, it still, it can't touch the goo. I can't believe that we're this far in and have not seen goo offered once. But the good news is, we're accidentally turning this into the epic Mumza run. I should almost just pivot this whole thing and start taking the, the essence and souls now. Well, the good news is, we've got a lot of Mumzas going, and that just opens up a lot of possibilities for us. Like we could, for instance, take even more Mumzas. Yeah, we will definitely take this here. How many Mumzas is that? Four Mumzas. Yep, we're doing the goo run. And so far we just have four Mumzas. You know, I don't think that this is going to be a goo run at this point. I think I might have lied to everyone, including myself. I still want to take this AOE. You know, th this is like a great upgrade board. Do I want to take the AOE? You know what? Let's, let's secure this damage here first. This one just is really strong. You know, this is really sh strong too, but we'll take the, the Sapphire. See a mumza, kill a mumza. Well, that's some that's some bad DPS to have not killed the, the mumza yet. Uh, resolute energy, no thank you. Yes, we got the goo. Uh, I think we'll take the attack speed and carry on. Okay, so we finally have goo started. We've got a lot of Mumza happening. A lot of Mumza. And now if we can just get a couple, a couple goo upgrades, we've got a build on our hands.
we'll just grab the crit. And uh Yeah, just trying to build up some XP on the ground here before we grab that magnet. Not in a real rush to blast through these levels, I don't think. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. When I saw these two gold upgrades over here, I thought for sure one of them was going to be Mumza, but no. If we could just, for the rest of the game, just rotate Mumza Goo, Mumza Goo, Mumza Goo. This is going to be a pretty incredible run. More crushed rubies. Okay, we've got a solid base now, I think. I mean, we're doing like 90 crits on, on our base attacks here. Occasionally a little higher. And we all know like the roulette wheels are going to slowly creep that damage way up. And the mumses are going to creep that damage way up. Uh, I think that's a dissolve. I mean, you know, I wouldn't mind taking the soft blobs, but... We're not doing it. We must have faith in the goo. When you believe in the goo, the goo believes in you. We'll take the AoE. I think the next goo upgrade is quite important. Well, really all the goo upgrades are important. What am I talking about? A little bit tempted to take the tree hugger, but we'll uh, we'll grab the citrine for more glorious attack speed and more glorious goo. Okay, so I thought this one upgraded our radius, but it does not. But it does give us an extra goo every time we pop off. Chain lightning, no thanks. Well, we seem to have much better or much easier time on the boss than we did round one. Oh, we accidentally just went directly to the next level. Uh, I don't think we want any of these, but this is all going to just go away, isn't it? Um, yeah, don't want any of that either. I think we just lost a bunch of XP there. Maybe we got it. I think we're I think we actually got the XP there so disaster averted that was not ideal the insta move to the next level AoE what you got for us probably nothing ooh that's pretty spicy it's pretty spicy off a of blue wheel I, like, I've been playing this game a lot, as you probably know by there being a bazillion Goobies videos on my channel. I love the roulette wheel mechanic. Well, what do you know? We haven't seen one of these for a while. Yes, we will absolutely take the Mumza. Ooh, interesting choice here, Mumza. How do we have more Mumza than Goo on this run? Pretty silly. I feel like the Goo isn't even, like, doing anything this run. I mean, I'd love to, I'd love to take this. It would be great to get a couple more levels into this, but... No, we are taking the Mumza. Live by the Mumza, die by the Mumza. That's that's what I was ta taught growing up. And you know what? I like to carry that through into my everyday life. Uh, I think we go Cracked Ruby here. 
What is our crit status? Oh wow, crit's only at 59%. I thought we would have been closer to 100% by now. Our crits are pretty solid here. I mean, I think I'm seeing a lot of like 154s on the screen. I think a lot of that flat damage just comes directly from the ridiculous amount of Mumza upgrades that we have. Okay, once we get to the boss, I think we should delete the boss quite quickly. Yep. Just a matter of actually getting to the boss. More crit damage. I think I heard a mini boss spawn, so let's go look for that. Yeah, there's a mini boss. Triple Halo, I think we're fine to take that. That doesn't even feel like cheating. Like taking the, taking the Halo upgrades, I'd call that minor cheating at best. But I noticed in the comments that, you know, people are really encouraging me to just cheat even more on these on these challenge runs, which I was a little surprised by. I thought everybody would want these to be even more restrictive. Oh, what do we take off this one? I might just take the strange fruit. I kind of... What? Did, yeah. <clears throat> we, have a, we have a decent amount of range. The flat projectile damage probably would have been a little bit better. But I like the idea of just being able to blast things from wherever. Spikes? Absolutely not. Um, we'll just take the tree hugger. It's probably not really worth it. But maybe we just do like a chill out run. I should like, uh, we should have a book. And like we, when we get into these moments where we're just chilling in the trees, that I just can start like reading the book. It'd be like a nice little book on tape situation. The level one tree hugger, really not that great. Level two tree, tree hugger, really great. Seems like we are getting a lot of crit damage on the roulette wheels so far. Now we probably need like one solid crit chance upgrade. I saw goo on here. Did not get goo. Um, well, yeah, we'll take the thick hide off the, off the roulette wheel. We will not take thick hides in the level ups, but grabbing one off the roulette wheel feels totally fine. I know it's important to get these levels going on this, but I gotta take the AoE. This only gets silly if we get a silly amount of AoE. Ooh, a crit. Are we seeing some like 194s there? That's pretty good. 20% crit chance, what does that put us at? 89%. That is excellent. Oh, the big chargey boys. They, they took a little bit of health off of us. Nothing too serious though. Eighty percent attack speed. That is awesome. This is just like a monstrous damage upgrade, right? Like as much as I want to just take the girth up, it's got to be the pristine sapphire. That should push us well into the 200s on our, our random crits. Now 
Yeah, you're seeing some like 230s and, and stuff there. Seems pretty good. What is happening here? Why aren't these goobies like coming through this gap? Why are all of them going around? Like I can come through here. The goobies refuse. That's quite weird. So like if I pop through the gap, do all these guys start going the other way? Seems like they're headed to the gap. Oh, uh, I'm gonna pull further away here so they won't go through this gap either. That is bizarre. So if I just sit in the gap, it like, am I? Well, I guess they can still get hit by the red guys. We won't do that. I was just thinking if I sat in the gap, like does no gooby ever touch us? Uh, I've left a lot of experience points on the ground here. And I think I'm fine with that. So if we get like a big charger pack and I and I get a little scared, I just make a break for the gap. And we're saved. Although we're like not having trouble with anything here. I think this is the time for more exploding fire. And one dead Gaia. What you got for us? Crit chance? I think we dissolve. Do we dissolve this? No, this puts us over 100. Even though we're probably going to get more later. We'll take that. Okay, let's get out of here. We'll hide in these trees. If they didn't have the the red bombing spider guys in the game, there would absolutely be like full on AFK builds in this game. And if, I wonder if you could, if there's like an amount. Whoa, that's not good. If there's an amount of range you could get, that would make it so that the red guys never got close enough to you to fire, assuming you were like doing full pack clears on everything. Uh, taking a bunch of unnecessary damage there by staying in the trees, so maybe I just need to ignore the trees for now, especially since we don't have the second tier of the tree hugger. We don't have the tree whisper. So let's get out of the trees. And then we all know as soon as I get the second upgrade for it, I will never go in trees ever again. Why? That's just the way I do things, all right? Oh, I've got a cat coming to potentially walk across the keyboard as I'm playing here. So if uh, things go haywire, not my fault. It's the cat's fault. We seem to be able to handle the big armored guys, which is usually like a test for, for builds. Like, is your build good enough? Well, just run into these big, run into a bunch of these big armored guys, and if you can kill them with ease, you're doing well. The mini boss noise is like the most exciting noise in the game. So it's just like, yes, free upgrades. Crit chance, we dissolve that. Mumza, how are you doing? I think there are a lot of enemies on the screen here, so we'll actually kill some enemies for a little bit here. Let's take the let's take the explosions. All right, now we can we can head out. 
that was a nice little bonus pack for us to take out there. How long did we make it in the original Goo Run? Like 45 minutes? So Goo 2.0 is only a success if we make it past the 45 minute marker. Uh, and considering we have like none of the goo upgrades, I don't even know if we can call this an actual goo run. This is more like an accidental Mumza run. Which I don't even know what that means, but we got more Mumza than we got goo. We didn't even get like the goo increased AoE. Like we're just running on base projectile damage and exploding pools of fire. Which, as you can see, is is pretty strong. But would be nice to get the goo. Maybe we'll get like a lucky roulette wheel. Give us like a four four times goo upgrades. Okay, I guess we're taking exploding volcanic pool. So we've got the on death effects, we've got the base base damage, we've got the mumzas, we just didn't get the goo. Needed more goo in my life today. I just didn't get it. You know, sometimes you want the goo, and nobody's gonna just give you the goo willy nilly. You gotta earn the goo. And I guess we just have not earned the goo today. We slightly struggle with the charging packs. Like not like risk of ending the run or anything. They are making it to us. Oh, I did not think that we were close to boss time. We're not like obliterating the bosses, but Doing pretty solid at it. That's unfortunate. Uh, I guess we could take condensed power. I thought that was going to be a dissolve. Try to clear these packs out before we head out. I love the wiggle woogle animation. All of the character animations are good in this game, but Wiggle Woogle is my favorite. Because he's like, design wise, the simplest character, right? He's just like a slime. But then you get moving around and he does his, he does his actual wiggle. And it's great. We do have some pretty ridiculous speed bursts with the Mumza, even without having 10 of them. This is still still fast when it's triggered. And with six of them, it's triggered quite often. Defin definitely the Citrine. Definitely not more movement speed. If there was an upgrade to get like less movement speed, I'd consider it with all these mumses. Well, we're feeling pretty strong here. And it makes me sad that we did not get at least like 15 more goo upgrades like is that too much to ask for the game to just give us an absolutely absurd absurd amount of of goo so here's a big horde of the armored guys the big armored guys and we just chewed through them no problem so we've we've got ample damage here 
I think we'll grab more condensed power. I hope that later down the line, they add full upgrade treats to all the items that do not currently have them. So it would be, it would be cool to see the AoE and AoE damage get one. Mumza. You're not the real Mumza. I'm the real Mumza, Mumza. You can't out Mumza me, Mumza. I don't even see goo on. Oh, we missed. We missed the four times goo by one. Uh, kind of hilarious to take four of these. So I'm just gonna do it. This is this is our cheat selection of the run, everyone. Four times. Hilarious. Gives us a bunch of bunch of XP and healing. So why not? Wonder what the like the amount of combo you need to get like the max 500 XP orbs is. Felt like we got quite a few there. Well, we're. I think we have more halos than goo. Yep. That's sad. Five halos by accident, three goos, and that's like the only thing we're trying for is goo. It might be like our least selected upgrade, actually. Yep, five of those, five of those, six of those, five of those, eight of those, five of those, five of those, and then like our accidental kind of stuff at the end. The ghoulish goo run. That's what this has turned into. What are our, what are our crits at now? It's like uh, I think I saw six hundred. Is that real? Yeah, it seems like we're we're having some pretty pretty beefy crits and I th think a lot of that damage is from Mumza. That fl that huge chunk of flat damage it gives mixed with all the damage percentile damage and percentile crit damage just uh, seems like it adds up to a high number. We should have a boss pretty soon, I feel like. Maybe not. There's our boss. Let's get a big combo and absolutely delete the boss. Grab the thick hides. A lot of enemies here, so we'll uh, we'll clean them all up. Well, that was that was a sneaky little play there the the armored chargers at the start of the level when we're fully surrounded. But the game just uh, didn't realize how powerful we are. Our power level is just through the roof. Uh, what are we buying here? I think we'll take the Tree Whisper, or is that... Is the Tree Whisperer at this point just complete bait? We'll grab it anyways. You know, I probably will never go into trees now that we want it, or now that we've got it. You know, we are at the point where things are gonna start to get a little dicey up in the, up in the 40s.
Okay, let's at least hang out in the trees for like 10 seconds. And look at all the XP start to collect on the ground. Give us one arboreal gift before the run ends. Just because. The red guys clearly do not want us in the trees. I feel like the your AoE size does not increase the size of the recycled time, salvaged energy, infinite energy AoE circle. I could be wrong on that, but that's kind of how it feels. It, it feels like it's like a set size. This is like the worst pack of trees I could have gone into. Is there a better pack of trees on here? Woo! Getting the the XP lag going on there. I feel very sad that we only got three goo upgrades. I know I've probably said that like 25 times this run, but all I wanted was some goo. All I wanted was a disturbing amount of goo and uh, was not able to deliver that for all of you. I don't even think there was goo on this wheel. What is this? Four Dizzy's Balls? You know, we already cheated once. We're dissolving. Uh, more Cracked Ruby sounds, sounds pretty hilarious. Actually, it only gives us 25% damage that's that's sad but I think the next the next ruby upgrade we start to get the percent chance for insta kill which would be pretty pretty nice to grab left a little bit of XP on the ground there by accident but that's all right. Okay, game. Give us the one arboreal gift. Like, why you gotta be so stingy on them? Just give us one. Before the before this run ends. Uh-oh, the run could end soon. I don't know what was happening there. We were not killing things. Uh, do we just take the halo? Why not? We're eventually maybe going to trigger it, but probably not. I feel like if we do trigger the halo, it's going to be a silly amount of damage that it's doing. But we all know if I try to intentionally trigger it, I will die. So we're just gonna leave it. And maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't. Kind of seems like we've had a low spawn rate of the mini bosses this round. Oh, there's goo on here. Yes! The run has been saved. The run has been saved by a minute 50 roulette wheel I think we can finally claim that this is actually a goo run only for like the final like 10 minutes or however long we last here but we're gooing we are absolutely gooing right now 
and another Mumza. When you kill Mumza, you should get a Mumza upgrade. Okay, can we just kill Mumza here? Thank you, game. 40% crit damage, super good. Ah, uh, I think we pass on all of that. Oh, double mini boss, I only heard one spawn. Oh, all this dissolving. It's not fair, game. Give us something we can use. What do we got here? Tranquilizing mass? Uh, I will dissolve those. I feel like that wouldn't really be cheating. But you know, we already took our we already took our cheat upgrade for the run. Okay, now that we're gooing, this feels real good. All we need to make this run complete is to get one arboreal gift. And I think this solitary tree in the middle of the map is the one that's going to get it done for us. Nope, I was wrong. Now I need to get out of here. Make a break for it. Fifteen percent crit damage. Pretty awesome for a gray roulette wheel. Do we just take more of these? Maybe we'll trigger it once, once before the end of the run. When, it, when it's our, like, most dire hour, it'll trigger, and it will be glorious. I mean, I will have to be doing, like, thousand, thousand damage hits. I, I really want to trigger it right now. It's so good. I'm too scared. I'm too scared. Should I let, should I let the red things bomb me down to the trigger zone? I need to get hit one more time. Okay, it's triggering. It's triggering. As long as we don't take more damage. We're tr we triggered Halo successfully. It happened. They said it would never happen on Slayed by Gaming. And yet here we are. Glorious one minute of Halo triggers. Oh, did we stop triggering it? Womp womp. Well, that was it. That was that was our moment. 30% attack speed. Pretty nice. Oh. Boss. How are we gonna get to this boss? We gotta keep keep moving. The laser beam is scary. There's also a big tanky mini boss here. Okay, we can hide behind the mountain. This is a, a mountain of safety. I'm gonna blast this mini boss. Oh, he sniped us through there. That was not cool, Magnus. Not cool, man. We're just getting overwhelmed here. Oh, did he move? I didn't even realize that he moved. I thought he was a stationary boss. Well, we actually were doing damage to him for a second there, and he was, he was getting roasted. 30% attack speed. Oh, how am I lagging right now? Okay, as much as I love my damage numbers, we said after an hour, we're gonna go in, we're gonna turn off damage numbers. See if that reduces our lag a little bit. 
But how will we ever know how much damage we're doing? I predict we just insta-die at the start of this map. Who's with me? Can we break through? Charge to the edge of the map. Okay, see if there's a treasure in this tree. This was not. Let's check this tree. Nope, not. We somehow managed to trigger the, like, crappy part of the halo. And not the spears. So we're currently... Triggering the little halo halos. But not the spears of death. And now I believe I took damage and it's all gone. But there was a brief moment there where we were kind of haloing. Yo, we're in a bad spot here. We are in a bad spot. But th these exploding volcanoes will save us. The 25% of their health as part of the explosion is pretty awesome, especially if that number can crit. Like if our if our damage multiplier and crit multiplier applies to it, like that's just super pack clear as long as you can kill one singular enemy. I really enjoy how we did not get a single arboreal gift. Oh, is this it? Oh, I think we can escape. We're, ha we're hanging on for our life here right now. We don't got it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! I thought that I thought that was death there. Once again, we're triggering the halos and not the spears. I'm gonna try to. We just do not have the juice to get down there and like actually like clear out the XP or anything. Oh, Zigrid, this is like the worst boss for right now. You know, we can kind of dodge, though. We'll push, we'll try to push in a little bit. Okay, let's do sneak, sneak around. Stand and deliver, baby. Oh, we're not doing much damage to the Zigrid at all. Here I was thinking that we had damage on this build. I was wrong. But that now that we have that 40% crit damage, we're fine. Oh, the lag. The XP collection lag. Damn, every, everything feels super tanky now. Can we just kill this guy already? What you got for us, game? One more halo? Sure, why not? This is a pretty good run. Hour, seven minutes. I did not think that we were going to make it out of that last map. I think we grabbed the girthed up for more AoEs. And now we just have to get down here and blast blast this mini boss. Probably need to get to the edge of the map for safety. Which is kind of sad. That's just, just where we're at. We are not going to be able to check trees for glorious treasures. Unless there maybe there is an ocean forest that we can we can meander our way to. Oh, I see a little pack of trees that we can play in. We'll have to bob and weave in here. 
We're totally not getting a single arboreal gift. It's happening. Should we take it? You know what, just because it's our only one, I said we weren't going to take any spiky highs from the level up, but I mean, this isn't even a level up. We got one. Really, you need to get two gifts to make make those upgrades worthwhile. It's like your that's like your break even marker. Oh, did we spawned one? We spawned one in the rock. We got a second one and it went in the rock. Oh, that's kind of funny actually. I do think that not having the damage numbers is reducing lag. You know, I don't think that that means that we're going to be able to push this to like two hours or anything. But hey, maybe it got us like another five minutes. Oh, this could be ugly. Okay, we got to make a run for it. We need some clean air if we're going to battle Mumza. Oh, our damage just feels so low on these bosses now. It was so good before. Woo! Uh, unintentionally, but we have triggered the halo. That was some poor play by me. That should have resulted in in death. Now we've got the, we've got the spear patrol coming in and blasting. Uh-oh. 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 Hey, that was a billion damage run. Uh, pretty happy with that run, actually. Let's check our damage numbers. So we did 600 million with recycled time. Oh, this doesn't count its damage? That's silly. Only 36 million with, with the goo. That's pretty funny. 570 million with the exploding volcano, volcanic pool. And the projectile did 34 million. How is that possible? Like we were, it's, we were seeing crits like in like the five, 600s, 700s. And it looked like they were coming off of this. Maybe they were, maybe they were coming off, off of this. I don't know. But the goo did catch up and at least pa pass our base projectile. But uh, that was a fun one. I had a blast playing. I hope you had a blast watching. And I'm out.